Okay, here I have the x-axis, the y-axis positive, and this is the z-positive axis. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and for two points, okay? So I've got two points that have just appeared. This is the point P and this is the point Q. The question is, how many different planes can I go through two points? So let's click for a plane which, is, which will be on the line P, Q. Okay, there's a plane, it's an orange plane there. Right, now, if I move the slider, you can see that the slider, the planes are rotating around those two points. We can even look at it at different angles if you like. Let's look at it at different angles. If I move, you can see that they're moving around those two points there. Like that, and you can see there's an infinite amount of planes that I can actually have that go through two points. All right, so we cannot define a plane with just two points. However, if I now add a third point, there's only one plane that can go through that, that point, which I think is there. Let's just have a look at that. You can see there's just one plane that can go through the three points. And if I click that, I get the, click that, sorry. Click that one, I get that, the actual plane. So there is only one plane, and that, in this case, the plane has its Cartesian equation. We have it, and we get the feeling of a Cartesian equation. It's minus 9x plus y plus 22z is equal to 63. Now it does look like that this is different to this one but if you uh, multiply this one by 9 divided by that you will actually get that plane. This is it in its simplest form. They are exactly the same plane. So in order to define a plane you are going to need three points. A in this case P and Q. And what we normally do, if I just move it around a bit, what we normally do is we go from the origin to get to this point here will be any point in the plane. So to get to it we're going to go from O to A and then some multiple of the vector A P plus some multiple of the vector P Q. In the next video we'll look at what's known as the vector equation of the plane.